Hey guys, welcome back to Dragon Age 2. Um, I think I remember the last time we are off to get Sanders now. I'm just gonna quickly look at the journal. Tranquility. Yes, go to the clinic in Darktown. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna go do that now. If I remember there's one thing I wanted to quickly look at. Must be a journal around here somewhere. <coughs> so I remember having a quick look online to see how you go about unlocking Fenris or getting Fenris on your team. And they said if you read this journal in here, I think I already read it, but I don't know. Oh wait, is this it? Oh yeah, bait and switch, that's it. Okay. Cool, except. So, yeah, that unlocks the quest bait and switch. So, we're probably gonna do that after if we have enough time. You know what? I'm gonna have these these two together. Two mages. There we go. Dark Town. Excuse me. Take what I like. That's what I say. Hello, Tom, Tom Wise. Huh? Oh, Hawk. I haven't seen you since Mirren hired me for that red iron job. Been a while. I don't know. Heard who you're he going is. on some expedition into the deep roads. Yes, I am. And right into Darkspawn territory. Sure that's wise? Probably not, but you know. It's a living. The guard will make a living in the Undercity. Just watch your back. That's all I'm saying. Say, you still in the market for some poisons? The red iron's been scarce, and business has been a little slow. You find any rare reagents and want me to whip you up something? Just let me know. In fact, since you're an old friend, here's a recipe. My speciality. Everyone needs an edge sometimes, right? Was he selling me drugs? Probably selling me drugs. So, there's no circle among the Dalish. Any child with a gift of magic is apprenticed to a keeper. In another clan, if there's no need in her own. That sounds nice. Oops. No. No, magic keep talking, Meryl. Magic the creators. Why wouldn't we use it? It just seems wasteful for humans to lock their mages away where they can't do any good. But... You are a blood mage. But she's a cute blood mage. And that's all that matters. Oh, shit. I feel like this map shouldn't confuse me as much as it does. Probably just stupid. Excuse me. <coughs> I'm guessing that's Anders. Oh God. This place a sanctum of healing and salvation. Why do you threaten it? I'm not doing anything. I mm. strange occupation for a warden. Aren't you more about taint and death? <laughs> not healing and salvation. <laughs> Did the warden send you to bring me back? I'm not going. Those bastards made me get rid of my cat. Horse the pounce a lot. He hated the deep roads. 
Oh my god, that name is amazing. I wish I could get away with calling my cat that, but she's the family cat. Uh, Sir Pouncelot. <laughs> Sir you had a cat named Sir <laughs> in the deep roads. He was a gift. A noble beast. Almost got ripped in half by a Genlock once. He swatted the bugger on the nose. He drew blood, too. The blighted warden said he made me too soft. I had to give him to a friend in Amaranthine. No. <laughs> I've always heard that joining the wardens is for life. That's only partly true. The hopelessly tainted by the Darkspawn and plagued by nightmares about the Archdemon parts don't go away. But it turns out if you hide well, you don't have to wear the uniform or go to the parties. I'm part of an expedition into the Deep Roads. Any information you have could save people's lives. I will die a happy man if I never think about the blighted Deep Roads again. You can't imagine what I've come through to get here. I'm not interested. Although, a favor for a favor. Does that sound like a fair deal? You help me, I'll help you. Let's be more specific. I don't do anything involving children or animals. I have a warden map of the depths in this area. <coughs> but there's a price. I came to Kirkwall to aid a friend. A mage. A prisoner in the wretched gallows. The Templars learned of my plans to free him. Help me bring him safely past them, and you shall have your maps. Tell me about your friend. His name is Carl Feckler. <laughs> he was sent here from Ferelden when Kirkwall Circle required new talent. His last letter said the Knight Commander was turning the Circle into a prison. Mages are locked in their cell, refused appearances at court, made tranquil for the slightest crimes. I told him I would come. Do you plan to break him out of the gallows? Excuse me. I'm hoping it won't come to that. I sent Carl a message to meet me in the Chantry tonight. Make a willing, he'll be there, alone. But if there are Templars with him, I swear I'll free him from them, whatever the cost. I'm not sure about attacking Templars. I might rather take my chances with the Darkspawn. If we fight the Templars, it is because they decide that anyone who befriends a mage deserves death without questioning. As just as his cause is, it scares me. I don't want to give the Templars another reason to hunt us. These are my mm. terms. If you want my aid with your expedition, meet me in the Chantry tonight. I have sent word to Carl to be there. Make a willing, we will all leave free men. Sounds fair, Andrews. Yes, that is his name. I will go do that for you. I kind of miss quick travel. I think because I shouldn't, it was so handy. Going to have to do some shopping upstairs pretty soon. Nothing worth scavenging today. No, oh, I just wanted to leave. Oops. You're so 
Oh, Lucky. How do you figure? I wish I had a sister and a whole big family. Oh, it must Meryl. be wonderful. You'd never be alone. It is wonderful. Although ah, long time no see, my friend. Well, if it isn't worthy, the dwarf with the incredibly ironic name. <laughs> I only oh my God! The truth. <laughs> you still with the Red Iron? It was just a year you were with them, right? Still trying to ferret out everyone's business, I see. <laughs> of course. How else do you expect a dwarf to make a living? I'll tell you what. <coughs> still have your contacts. You need some rune crafting done. I can arrange it for you. Take care, Hawk. Don't get dead. I won't get dead. I won't get anything worthy. You can trust me. Oops, wait, no, I don't want to order runes. Chantries over there. Good day to you. today if you could do anything just anything at all what would you do that's easy be normal <laughs> no magic just oh no Bethany, don't really? say that. you wouldn't fly across thedas or eat a cake the size of kirkwall keep a baby <laughs> griffin for a pet well now that you say it the griffin might not be so bad i do oh. mean mine You live that dream, Meryl. You do the thing. Let me in. Okay, I'm in the chantry. Now what do I do? Have to find some lad. Ugh. Where is he? Oh, I'd not... I'm fucking blind. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's do that again. Let's completely ignore that I fucked up. Never a shortage of idiots who think they can take the streets in the dark, but good reward in getting rid of them. That's true, Varric. There's never a shortage of idiots. This one included. I found spooky at night. Oh my god. Hello. Ah, stop doing that. Why? Why are you gonna be like this? Stop it. Oh my god. No, did I attack Carol? No. Oh, he died. Fuck. Oh my god. Oh, is everybody dead? No! Leave me alone! Oh my god. Dark hell. What? Who is this person just standing there? Wait, what? There's cooldowns on potions? Ah. 
Ah, uh, what? Safe at night. We should do. Yeah, I can see about that. that. You there? You just stand there like fucking bitch. I saw Carl go inside a few minutes ago. No Templars so far. Are you ready? Yes. We didn't see anyone suspicious out here. Let's do this fast. All right. I'll handle the talking. You watch for Templars. When we find Carl, just let me talk to him. <clears throat> Hello, Carl. Anders, I know you too well. I knew you would never give up. What's wrong? Why are you talking like... I was too rebellious, like you. The Templars knew I had to oh, be... Oh, no. ...made an example of. No! How else will mages ever master themselves? You'll understand, Anders. As soon as the Templars teach you to control yourself. Mm. This is the apostate. No! <clears throat> you will never take another mage as you took him! What? Anders, what did you do? It's like... you brought a piece of the Fade into this world. I had already forgotten what that feels like. What did you do? Not the Fade part. The angry, glowing bit. It's like a gateway to the Fade inside you. Glowing like a beacon. I have some... unique circumstances, yes. But Carl, what happened? How did they get you? The Templars here are far more vigilant than in Ferelden. They found a letter I was writing you. You cannot imagine it, Anders. All the color, all the music in the world, gone. I would gladly give up my magic. But this... I'll never be whole again. This is what Mother was protecting me from. The poor man. Please, kill me before I forget again. I don't know how oh, you brought me. it back, but it's fading. Carl, no. Maybe we can find a cure. Can you cure a beheading? The dreams of tranquil mages are severed. There is nothing left of them to fix. I would rather die a mage than live as a Templar puppet. 
my sister calls being tranquil a fate worse than death. Give him peace. I got here too late. I'm sorry, Carl. I'm so sorry. Now, it's fading. Why do you look at me like that? Oh, that's really weird. I guess we'll ban the mages here and an origin. Goodbye. <laughs> We should leave before more Templars come. Oh. So, let me guess. This is the part where you tell me you're an abomination? You're wrong. But not far wrong. I... This is hard to explain. When I was in Amaranthi, I met a spirit of justice who was trapped outside the Fade. We became friends, and he recognized the injustice that mages in Thedas face every day. You and Solus would get along great. And that's different than a demon. Just as demons prey on the deadly sins of mankind, there are good spirits who embody our virtues. Spirits of compassion, fortitude, justice. They are the Maker's first children, and they have all but given up on us. What does this have to do with your eyes glowing? <laughs> to live outside the Fade, he needed a host. I offered to help him. We were going to work together, bring justice to every child ever ripped away from his mother to be sent to the Circle. But I guess I had too much anger. Once he was inside me, he changed. So, you have this spirit of justice living in your head? It's not like that. He's gone now. He's part of me. It's not like we can have a conversation. I feel his thoughts as my own. Not even the greatest scholar could tell you where I end and he begins. That really didn't look like a happy, benevolent spirit from where I was standing. Since when is justice happy? Justice is righteous. Justice is hard. You tried to help a friend. Surely no harm can come of that. I wish I still had your innocence. There was too much hatred in me. Justice thought he would overcome that. But my anger, when I see Templars now, things that have always outraged me, but I could never do anything about, he comes out. And he is no longer my friend, Justice. He is a force of vengeance. And he has no grasp of mercy. Hmm. <laughs> I like men with dark paths. <laughs> no, no. Can you bring him out at will? No. He comes only when I've lost all power over myself. It's a madness, a frenzy. I only find out after what I might have done. Wow. Your problems make mine seem small. Here. These are all the documents I have for this area. I can understand if you would rather me not join you personally. I cannot control my need for vengeance. I would ask no one to take on the danger of traveling with me. I will be here in my clinic if you need me. We'll see how good you are. Okay, now we are going to. Oops. Um, we're going to main plot. No, companions. No. Where is it? Yeah, bait and switch. We're going to do that. We are going to go get Fenris. Double check things. And Just want to make sure this is full screen mode. Oops, no. Oh yeah, 
you have to level up. So you are a. Uh, I'll give you this vengeance thing. Okay, never mind. That's not available yet. So, when you first did blood... Sorry, Anders. Journey. No, we can check that yet. Did it save automatically? I hope it did. Please say it did. I don't know if it does. Shit. Oh, thank god. I was so afraid I was going to do that all over again. Okay. I'm injured, so I should heal myself. No, that's not going to work. Wait, where 
where's the other person gone? Oh, they're like back there. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that was a mess. Sorry, Meryl. I mean, it's full of thugs. It makes sense. Justice doesn't let me get drunk anymore. What? I miss it. Oh, for fuck's sake. More of these. <laughs> No, I get to take the potion. Oh, of course. Thank you. Sweet mother of Earth. You can't just run up on someone like that. Are you? Yes, I can. The one that mercenary told me about? The one looking for work? Did you think I was going to attack you? Oh, no, no. Uh, all right. Hope not. Anyhow, my apologies, human. I haven't been on the surface very long. I keep thinking I'll fall up into that sky any minute. <laughs> what a bizarre thing to be scared of. But I digress. I need some help. Rather badly, in fact. Some product of mine has been misplaced. The men who were supposed to deliver it decided not to. If you retrieve my property, I could reward you handsomely. Hmm. Just what did these men steal? <laughs> did I say steal? I, I don't know if I would go that far. They seemed like perfectly reasonable smugglers. They smiled and everything. The goods are valuable, however, and illegal. And my client wants them very, very badly. <laughs> you know how these Templars can be. You're smuggling lyrium to the Templars. It just keeps getting better. <laughs> <laughs> By the Paragons, not so loudly. My word, I'm not cut out for this. I should have taken that job sweeping staples like Mother insisted. Just what did these men steal? <laughs> did I say steal? Oops. I don't know if I would go that far. They seemed like perfectly reasonable smugglers. They smiled and everything. The goods are valuable, however, and illegal. And my client wants them very, very badly. Okay. You know how these Templars can be. Make it worth my time and I'll help you. Oh, I will. Or I'll try to. The gentlemen conduct their business at night in a little hovel within the alienage. If you have to kill them, then I guess it can't be avoided. But I'm sure they'll be reasonable. Okay. Let's level you up, Meryl.
way to get Fenris now. Oh, for fuck's sake. my rock armor. That's cute. Okay. Ugh, not again. Reserved. Did I put something on by mistake? No. Did I? Well, that was just fucking rude. Not the elf. Who is that? It doesn't matter. We were told to kill whoever enters the house. Uh, okay. Face me. Stand for all of us. Oh, 
my dog. Serious mistake coming here. Lieutenant, I want everyone in the clearing now. <laughs> Captain. Oh. Uh. Your Lovely. men are dead, and your trap has <sighs> failed. I suggest Fair running real. back to your master while you can. You're going nowhere, slave. Leave my moody off alone. I am not a slave. <laughs> I apologize. When I asked Anso to provide a distraction for the hunters, I had no idea they'd be so numerous. I take it these men were looking for you. Correct. My name is Fenris. These men were Imperial Bounty Hunters, seeking to recover a Magister's lost property, namely myself. They were trying to lure me into the open. Crude as their methods were, I could not face them alone. Thankfully, Anso chose wisely. If you couldn't fight them, why not just run? There comes a time when you must stop running, when you turn and face the tiger. <laughs> Anso's job did seem a little too easy. Perhaps the deception was unnecessary. If so, I'm sorry. I've become too accustomed to hiding. If I may ask, what was in the chest? The one they kept in the house? It was empty. I suppose it was too much to hope for. Even so, I had to know. You were expecting something else? I was, but I shouldn't have. It was bait, nothing more. All that for an empty chest? No, there's more. It's as I thought. My former master accompanied them to the city. I know you have questions, but I must confront him before he flees. I will need your help. It sounds like you intend to do more than just talk. Daenerys wants to strip the flesh from my bones, and has sent so many hunters that I've lost count. And before that, he kept me on a leash like a Kunari mage, a personal pet to mock Kunari custom. So, yes, I intend to do more than just talk. Lead the way, it looks like it's going to be a long night. I will find a way to repay you. I swear it. The Magister is staying at a mansion in Hightown. Meet me there as soon as you can. We must enter before morning. I will. No. no! Leave me alone. Hey, my dog! Oh my god. Mm. I hate this battle system so much. Uh, I can die again. 
are so many of them. Meryl, get the fuck out of the way. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Meryl. No, I'm running away. Ugh. I'm sick of these guys. says the same thing as Cassandra. Because Cassandra always says make her take you. I think it's kind of cool. Nope, that's not where I want to go. After I do this thing for Fenris, I'm gonna end this episode here. Because I have been recording for an hour again. Nobody can fight me. within. Daenerys may know we're here. I wouldn't put it past him. I could stand to know a little more about this Daenerys. He is a magister of the Tevinter Imperium. There, he is a wealthy mage with great influence. Here, he is but a man who sweats like any other when death comes for him. 
What's the worst that could happen? I do not fear death. That does not mean we should be reckless. Fair enough. Uh, you know what? Just have these two in. And there we go. I always thought Fenris was a maid, or not a maid. Where a rogue. are you, master? Oh, okay. He's an angry boy. Ooh. I don't like the looks of this. Oh fuck! Not again. Grouchy, he sounds. of them what have I done no <laughs> not again um, this is not okay leave Meryl alone <laughs> wait no the door is closing <laughs> what the hell What a mess. I know I said before I was going to change to a controller, but I got too lazy. Oh my god. Okay, whoever smelt it, dealt it. Wait, where? Oh my god, not again. This guy. That's what I'm doing. you that. Um. No, I don't want it to show. <laughs> Can I unequip it?
I'm guessing he just doesn't wear shoes. Okay. So where is this man? Sounds good. Assume Daenerys left valuables behind. Take them if you wish. I need some air. Okay, Fatness. Nice. 
<laughs> Why am I stuck in a chair? Look at him brooding against the wall. I escaped a land of dark magic, only to have it hunt me at every turn. It is a plague burned into my flesh and my soul. And now I find myself in the company of even more mages. You can speak to me directly. I saw you casting spells inside. I should have realized sooner what you really were. You harbor a viper in your midst. It will turn on you and strike when you least expect. That is in its nature. My sister is stronger than you think. You tell him, sis. <laughs> Some of us may surprise you, Fenris. I'm not blind. I know magic has its uses, and there are undoubtedly mages with good intentions. But even the best-intentioned mage can fall prey to temptation. And then, their power is a curse to inflict upon others. No one's stopping you from moving on, you know. I imagine I appear ungrateful. If so, I apologize. For nothing could be further from the truth. I did not find Denarius, but I still owe you a debt. Here is all the coin I have, as Anso promised. Should you find yourself in need of assistance, I would gladly render it. Your old master must want something more than just a runaway slave. He doesn't want me at all, just the markings on my skin. They are lyrium, burned into my flesh to provide the power that Denarius required of his pet. And now, he wishes yeah. his precious investment returned, even if he must rip it from my corpse. Seems like a waste of a perfectly handsome elf. <laughs> <laughs> I had to. <laughs> the truth is, I know nothing of the ritual that placed these markings on me. It was Denarius's choice, one he now regrets. Are you going to have a problem with my companions? I will watch them carefully if we travel together. I can promise no more. I'm planning an expedition I might need help with. Fair enough. Should you ever have need of me, I will be here. If Daenerys wishes his mansion back, he is free to return and claim it. Beyond that, I am at your disposal. Hey. We got Fenris. Bad people come out at night. It would be good to get rid of them. Wait, why are we getting rivalry? Oh, okay. We should move on. That's cool. Okay. I don't know what to think of Fenris yet. I just had it in my head. I'm gonna romance him. I'm gonna do the thing. He's a grumpy elfy boy and I feel like because I romance Solus, I get to romance him in this. Except I didn't romance an elf in Origins, I romanced Alistair. But that's doesn't matter. That's, that's not the case. Um because I don't want to romance Anders. He just kind of annoys me so far. I don't know. It's just I he's not really doing it for me. I just <laughs> Just like the way Fenris looks, he's, he's got that hair and everything, and, and uh, he's so serious. I'm not gonna get into it. I'm just I'm gonna see where it goes, and I'm gonna end the episode here because it has been going on for too long. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know I kept dying and messing up so many times, but um, I'm probably gonna edit out most of those because you don't want to see that. So anyways, I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye!